What's up guys, Trigger here bringing you a Ground War Kill Confirm gameplay today. Yeah, I decided to switch it up a little bit for you guys. Um, you guys wanted to see some higher kill games, so uh, I think this is a pretty good score for, for Kill Confirmed. It's like a 60... 60 something and 9 I'm not 100% sure um, you know but uh, ground war you know I really really want to play ground war a lot more but uh, tell you what I get about one playable game for every uh, 20 that I join simply because my connection is terrible uh, so I think in April is the final word of when I'm going to get my fiber optic connection. So uh, when I get that, you know, I'm probably going to be playing Ground War a lot more. Um, probably that will be my main, uh, you know, game type because uh, Ground War is a lot of fun. You know, if the co connection's good and uh, I think uh, the first portion of this game I had a four bar and you can see I'm just uh, taking a doo-doo on everybody's face. Uh, but I do believe, like, I don't know, for some reason, a uh, quarter way through the game, it, it drops down to a three bar, and then it starts taking uh, quite a few bullets to kill people. But, you know, like I said, this, this game type is a lot of fun to play. Um, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, there's a lot more action going on. And the thing about Ground War is, yeah, there's still campers, but... Uh, you know what, there's enough people playing it that run around that you can kind of ignore the campers, you know, just stay away from the buildings and let them do their thing. So right here, I get uh, fucked over by a host migration. Um, I'm surrounded by like four guys, so I probably would have died anyways, but that's that's definitely a pretty annoying thing. But, you know, in ground where you can ignore the campers sitting in buildings and uh, still do well. The problem with 6v6 is there's only six guys. Actually, you know, a lot of times it turns into like a 5-on-5 five five or a 4-on-4. Four four. So uh, really, if you want kills, you have to challenge people sitting in corners and, and holding down buildings. So um, that's one aspect of Ground War that I really, really do like. <clears throat> but uh, today, before I get into the topic at hand... I just want to take a second to thank you guys because thanks to you, uh, I just got a Machinima contract. I'm going to be a Machinima partner, so you can expect to see, uh, I think I'm going to put all my Domination for Dummies videos uh, up on Machinima just for, you know, I really enjoy uh, that series and I, I want as many people to see it as possible to try to get... Uh, you know domination uh to be played how it's supposed to be played so um pretty exciting stuff i'm not gonna lie because i think that's every you know youtuber's um goal is to become a partner or um you know a machinima partner um now before you guys say anything i'm not in it for the money or anything i just my ultimate goal is i want to <laughs> turn as many campers into rushers that is my ultimate goal of youtube just help everybody get better because uh you know people are lazy uh and they don't take the time to to learn the game um you know like the rest of us so sometimes you kind of gotta give them training wheels and and you know some people just have a a hard time you know learning spawns and stuff so that's what i'm uh mainly here for but that's not what I wanted to talk about uh, in today's commentary. Um, today, I don't know. I think I'm going to turn this into a series because I think it's absolutely hilarious. Um, basically, I'm going to put some of Robert Bowling's recent tweets up and kind of talk about it a little bit because some of his tweets just boggle my mind. That that I don't know what goes through that guy's head sometimes, but... Uh, uh, kicking things off, this was one of his tweets from yesterday. Basically, uh, this kid was calling Robert Bowling a troll because um, in his G4 video talking about the new maps, he was basically uh, telling people to camp, uh, use Blind Eye and Assassin, and just basically the most newbie thing, pro, uh, quote-unquote, pro tips from Robert Bowling. 
Um, so this kid's calling him out. And this is one of his responses. Uh, he says, When defending in domination or SND on Piazza, you should definitely be in a defensive position. Going for kills is dangerous. Now, are you fucking kidding me, Robert Bowling? Going for kills in a first-person shooter arcade game is dangerous. No fucking shit. But isn't that the point of the game? Like, I really have no words to really um, describe that comment. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. And uh, Robert Bowling, you are a douchebag. I'm sorry, but if you like what Robert Bowling is doing, um, you know, you're a douchebag too. I'm not going to lie. Because I tell you what, I honestly think that if Infinity Ward... Uh, gets rid of Robert Bowling uh, because he's their quote-unquote creative strategist. You know what? I think the game would be much better off because he ob obviously has no idea what he's talking about. He doesn't know, you know, his asshole from... I, I You know, I don't even know <laughs> what I'm talking about. But uh, moving on to another one that I thought was kind of funny is um, a kid kind of tweets to him uh how are knives exactly reactionary what happens to me is i shoot first get two hit markers then get knifed out of panic and uh robert bowling's clever reply was um you die the lesson here is get a headshot at that range or two don't get so close to your enemy i mean wh what is the point of of the game people People rush, and, you know, sometimes you're not going to know if somebody's coming around the same corner that you are. Um, but, you know, people panic, and they get a panic knife. You know, why not make the knife like it is in Battlefield, where you have to... If you want a knife so bad, then you have to pull the motherfucker out of wherever you pull it from and stab the guy, not instantly pull it out of your gun, you know, knife the guy and put it back right away. It just it makes no sense to me the knifing in this in this game um you know and another kid asked him you know well kind of what i just said you know i can't see through walls you know sometimes shit happens and, and you run into people um you know and robert bowling uh his next clever reply was um of course you'll get stabbed if you run into someone that's the risk of not taking your time and checking your corners you know, sometimes getting knifed isn't about checking your corners. It's just, you know, sometimes that shit happens. And, uh, you know, I, I just, knifing is, it is really annoying. I 100% I agree with this. To me, I think uh, Robert Bowling is a complete uh, noob. He probably has like a .4 KD. But anyways, guys, this video is wrapping up way faster than I thought. I uh, the overall score 63 eight, i think it's 63 and 9 or something like that but hope you guys enjoyed uh, and i'll see you guys later